It's time for our Branch County Act Today, brought to you by Siri Solutions. Siri Solutions, centered on you. And today, welcoming in Eric Anderson, Michigan State University Extension field crop educator who covers Branch County. And Eric, during this winter period, this is a perfect time to, to get together with farmers and others involved in ag for some of those much-needed meetings, right? I'm just going to give you just a, a quick little update on what's coming up in the next few weeks anyway. Focused on field crops coming up later in January uh, in Tree Rivers, coming up on the 16th. We've got, for those of you who grow soybeans, might be interested in what is Michigan soybean uh, up to, what happens with those checkoff dollars, some of the on-farm research. Uh, We're going to have a meeting coming up on the 16th, and you want to get registered for that right now. I'm pretty sure that by Friday, this Friday, uh, they want to have registered. They might be able to add a couple people after that, but uh, you're going to want to contact uh, Michigan Soybean, or you can also contact the, the Branch County Extension Office on that. Uh, so that's on the 16th. And then another meeting that's coming up not too long after that is we will have uh, kind of our Southwest Crop and Pest meeting with Extension. Uh, it's a little bit of a drive. It'll be over in Dewajak and um, our registration is wide open for that uh, for another few weeks. And you can, again, either contact the St. Joe office or the Branch County office for more information about that. If you're maybe a little bit closer to the east side, or if you just want to go to Cabela's for some reason, <laughs> um, you could also go to the southeast meeting, and that is going to be coming up on, uh, I believe it's the 5th of February. So, those are just a couple of meetings that are, are, are coming up on the calendar with some registration times that are looming. Uh, so I wanted to update folks on that, but really what I wanted to do with our time here is to introduce to you uh, the person who's going to be taking over my position here with an extension as a field crops educator, uh, Nicole Ritchie, actually starting today. Uh, she's going to be based out of the St. Joseph County office, but she's going to be uh, covering all of your questions and visiting farms, uh, helping farmers out uh, in Branch County as well. So I wanted you to get a chance to meet her. Well, welcome, Nicole, and tell everybody a little bit about your background and and transitioning to uh, this role as field crops educator. Thank you. Yeah, so I grew up actually in Three Rivers, and then I studied plant science at Utah State University um, a few years ago and came back to Michigan. I live in Sturgis now, and the past few years I've been working for a potato farm most of my field crop background would be with potatoes, but I've also worked with corn and soy a little bit, and then I've also even worked with almonds and pistachios. So I've got a little bit of a diverse crop background, but yeah, I'm super excited. I know that um, agriculture is such a big part of Southwest Michigan, and I'm happy to be a part of that. So being actually kind of on both ends of the equation, uh, now from the uh, the MSU Extension piece of the educational piece, but also coming in from a, the private industry background, that's a, that's a nice blend that uh, that farmers and others involved in agriculture can kind of lean on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Um, it's been really great for me to reflect on ways that we've needed extension or outreach programs and how they helped us when we were working in potatoes. Um, and... So hopefully for me to be able to apply that and bring it forward to other growers in this area. For you early on, what's going to be kind of the things that you're going to be focusing on? Is it mostly getting out and and seeing people? Yeah, so I'm working on a lot of relationships. I want to know the growers. I want to know what kind of unique challenges you're facing. Um, And I'm also working on getting to know my way around, you know, the structure of Michigan State Extension and um, things like that. But yeah, I'm really looking for meeting growers and and getting to know what kind of struggles they have, what kind of triumphs they've had, and looking at things so that I can facilitate communication and link people to resources as needed. Well, Eric's moving on to a new role of Michigan State, but I, I'm assuming he'll just be a phone call away for you, right, if you need support? That's right, yeah. He'll be here through May anyway, <laughs> uh, up until May. So he's helping me out and guiding me through this process. Nicole Ritchie and Eric Anderson, Michigan State University Extension. Eric, the longtime field crops educator, and Nicole Ritchie, the new field crops educator, moving into that position on this edition of our Branch County Ag Today, brought to you by Siri Solutions. Siri Solutions believes in responsible, sustainable solutions that help farmers feed Branch County and the local communities. Siri Solutions believes in the balance between productivity, profit, and preservation, and they're honored to work beside producers today for a sustainable future in ag. 
Siri Solutions, centered on you, bringing you today's Branch County Ag Today on AM 1590 and FM 95.5 WTVB.